ask him. Mr. America, are you Hulk Hogan? Can I please have a drink of water? Yeah. Hogan, you can drink all the water you want. You can drink water till you're waterlogged. I can tell you this, that's not a truth serum, okay? That's just simply water, and it's not gonna change the answer. Now, damn it, I'll ask the question this time. Mr. America, are you Hulk Hogan? No. What's this mean? It means he's telling the truth, sir. The hell he's telling the truth. The hell you say? Ask him the question again. Mr. America, are you Hulk Hogan? No. Now listen to me. I don't know what you're doing, but you're not asking the questions properly. Now, damn it, ask the question properly. I know the answer. I know that SOB is lying to me. Now ask him. Mr. America, are you Hulk Hogan? No. Damn it. Ask him again. It's Hogan, 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 Hogan. No, 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 no. What the hell's going on? What's going on, Mr. McMahon, is that Mr. America has passed this lie detector test. All right. Oh. I don't quite know what to say. Honestly, I'm dumbfounded. I don't know about you, yeah. but not me. Pull on. You got cut the music. I don't know what you've done, Hogan. I don't know how you pulled this off. Well, you're lying through your teeth and you know it. Maybe it's because you two are incompetent. I don't know. But I'll tell you this. If you can pass the lie detector test, damn it, I can, I can pass it. You put that on me. Come on. Put it on me. I'll prove I can pass the lie detector test. Come on. I don't have all night. If you can pass this thing, any of these people can pass it. I can pass it. And by the way, just for the record, just for the record, these damn lie detector tests are not admissible in court for a very, very good reason. And that reason is because people like you can lie through their teeth. I don't know how you did that. All right, come on, get a reading. Let me know when you got a reading. You got a reading. Pick up the microphone, officer. I don't care what you ask me. You ask me anything in the world you want to ask. Are you Vince McMahon? Yes, I am. Are you the chairman of the WWE? Yes, I am. Wait a minute, hold on, wait a minute. Let me ask you something, brother. Now I'm gonna ask this nice and slow so you can comprehend the question and answer it correctly. Are you the biggest ass 
on God's green earth. No. I am. Are you a sick, perverted, power-hungry freak? No. <laughs> wait, wait a minute. I don't know what you guys are doing here or what's going wrong with this test, but look, the one thing I can state unequivocally, look, I'm a very well-respected businessman the world over. What I do in this business, I do it for each and every one of you all over the world. All right, perhaps that was an overstatement. I, I do it for most of you all over the world. Some of you. All right. I do what I do for me and me only. Yeah, you got one right. But let me tell you this. I am no pervert. Oh, you're not? Well, don't you spend most of your leisure time pleasuring yourself by looking at pictures of Tory Wilson's Playboy brother? What? <laughs> no, I don't. Uh, all right, but it was a long time ago. It was last month. It was earlier this morning, quite frankly. It was in the car in the limo on the way over. But, but that doesn't mean I'm a pervert because quite frankly, anyone could lust after Tory Wilson Anyone can have a fantasy about Tory Wilson. At least I don't fantasize about the May Youngs of the world. <laughs> now, damn it, this is ridiculous. I don't know what you're trying to prove, any of you. I hate you, Hogan. Well, I'll tell you, Mr. America has done it again. He succeeded in a embarrassing Mr. McMahon here tonight. Wait a minute, McMahon. This proves one thing. That Mr. America is telling the truth. And you're nothing but a liar. Look at that look.